Hollinger's best job done. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> right. We've come down to uh, kill Kenny today and uh, basically Cavernland Ireland or Cavernland Group Ireland are hosting a, an open day with all their products. So we have grabbed the... Uh, uh, you, Alan, you're the territory manager. What's your official uh, title? Area sales manager. For? For, um, for the northern half of Southern Ireland and Northern Ireland included. So covering right. the top half of the country. What's happening here? Today we're in the hub, Killen Hill in the hub in Kilkenny. We're basically showcasing our full range of machines. Um, Cavernal Group has factories all over the world. So this is our opportunity to bring all our machines under the one roof and show the customer base that we have a full range of machines from crop care, tillage, feeding and grass. I have to come straight in with a burning question. Um, I'm a little bit amazed. I walked in the door, I was expecting to see a shade full of orange products. But yeah. I'm sure I'm sure this is something you get a little bit of abuse about, but uh, I'm actually a little uh, surprised. I, I thought it was all, because Kabuta obviously now own Cavernland, but yeah. it's not going orange. Not going orange for the Irish market. I could have choked you when I seen you at Agri Technica panicking over orange products, but the Cavernland name in Ireland and in Northern Ireland is a very strong name. To change all those implements to orange overnight would be madness. You would lose your market share in the drop of a hat, just like that. The Caverna name running alongside all the tractor brands in this country is the popular brand. It's the, the market leader in this country. To change that from Caverna to Kubota would be stupid for the Irish market, for sure. Now, it, the Kubota implements will work in other markets, like your South America and American markets. Kubota's a big name, but for the Irish market, Caverna is So for, for you know, UK and Ireland, we still expect to see your, your uh, red and green and there's a little bit of grey moving in, I believe. A little bit of grey now moving into the new family brand. You'll see some of the new marketing on the, the range now to keep it all in the family. The new one-piece sticker instead of your white uh, individual letter decals that you've seen. And it seems to be going red and grey with the small stripe of green on the decal. 2017, we all want to forget about it, but our, I mean, we had plans to work with you last year um, with the, the exciting fast bale product but uh, the weather just didn't permit it and even your sales struggle to get the baler out at times and get going and get a bit of but yeah. after 2017 how are you feeling about the, the new product the fast bale because it's the baler everybody's talking about yeah yeah we're feeling very confident now thankfully we always approach the market with caution in Cavernal Group Ireland the Irish market is the most tested in the world everything that we knew, the new butterfly mowers, the new rakes, everything that comes to Ireland, comes to Ireland for, or comes to the market, comes to Ireland for testing. That's the way we do it here. It's got the most variable conditions with grass, weather, you know, everything varies so much. So this is what we're doing. Well, you, one thing you'll know after last year, can the fast bale bale clay? <laughs> That's a very <laughs> good point. It was uh, an extremely difficult year last year for everybody involved. I'm sure yourselves had a difficult year with yeah. the on the bed challenge. Obviously we've been chatting to you since and, and we're, we're looking forward to getting doing a little bit of work we're, we're, we're going to make hopefully if the weather's a bit better this year what we were meant to do last year hopefully happen this year so it'll not keep That's your eyes peeled we will get out with this fast bail and we will see if it can deliver exactly what you sh are shouting. We, we'll be deliver. delighted for grass men to work along with us and, and join in with us somewhere along the way to, to do a review on the bail and get a look at it. What's new for 2018? 2018 um, there's a lot of new products um, I suppose just a quick overview is the new 2500i plow, uh, fully isobus, GPS compatible plow. This lady here that I'm standing beside is the 97150 15 meter geo rake, so full isobus rake. That's not common for Cavernland. Eh? No, this is a sector now that's new to us and new to the Irish market that we have to get into. You have your crones and, your, and your, your class that are selling this type of machine now. So this is new to us for 2018. We do plan to do some demonstrations of this machine and get it out there and uh, get it is tested. It, I was watching a video that you've made, right? You're steering that axle. Yeah. But you can control the steering in that axle. You can steer manually and automatically with the machine. So you really have the versatility to shift it sideways, for example, or go in any direction you wish. And there is a couple of few videos circulating that now. And transport 
height and all, it'll come down. I mean, that, that back yeah. rotor's up in the air there, but it'll come right down into under the four metres. And under the 3.9 metre overall transport height, yeah. So, really smart machine. Wow. And are you just going to run one as a demo this year? We plan to demonstrate this very machine that I'm standing beside this year, yeah. We got it in for a future farm event here today, and the initial plan is to demonstrate that machine this year. So... You look gobsmacked, Gareth. Well, um... <laughs> What, what type of a tractor would we need for that? Well, that's a, that's a good question. Ideally for this machine, we need a full Isobus compatible tractor with GPS. So, I mean, you can see the physical size of it. It's not just as wide as some of the competitors' machine, um, but it's still a very long machine for, for the Irish market. So I suppose 200 horse, 180 horse would be comfortable with it, let's say. Well, maybe. If we can, yeah. I would certainly be interested in joining up with you on your, your tour around Ireland and maybe raking a bit in front of you if, if we find the right field for it on your tours. Perfect. Definitely. Perfect. I have one request and I think this is a little bit more your speciality. I don't know if you, you've been following her but I have a, I have a little doubt there. A wee 451 agro I do, I we've, we've got at home. I, I do some shouting about this, everybody gives off. But um, Cavernland have the ultimate market share in Ireland when it comes to the ploughs. Yeah. I mean, so when, when someone says Cavernland to me, I think of a plough. I'm yeah. just being 100% honest. Of course, yeah. I don't know what the market share figures are, but I would love to maybe try a little bit of ploughing with that small tractor to see can that old tractor we got maybe handle a three fur reversible or something. But I would like maybe some of you guys to come up and spend a bit of time with us and actually just show us how to basically turn that wee tractor into a, a show winning. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm a big fan of your little 451 Deutsch Gareth. I really do like her. Um, and we'll be very interested in getting maybe John, our demo guy, up and setting that little play up on your tractor. And we can do some comparisons maybe with a new setup and maybe a bigger play, etc. We're very interested in doing that with you this well, year. We'll be, very, we'll be very keen to work with you on that yeah. front. Another thing I've spied out of the corner of my eye here now, I just can't work out the connection. What's, what's the connection with McConnell? So, um, Caverland Group Ireland are also importers from McConnell products for the Republic of Ireland. So that's a, a big chunk of our business. We don't have a power arm to offer. We have pretty much everything else to offer in this shed, but we don't have a power arm hedge cutter to offer. So we're the importers from McConnell power arms, RC equipment, tillage equipment, and the latest addition to the family is the, the, the Agri Buggy A280. So that's the, that's the latest addition, as is our Caverland plow market share. The McConnell power arm market share would be very high in this country, somewhere around 60 to 65 percent, possibly more. Wow! So Plows and McConnell, Cavernland Group Ireland has it tied up. We've yeah, not to be. <laughs> <laughs> Ten yeah. foot mowers. Ten foot mower. So then that's another thing we'll have new to the market this year is the ten foot mower. Um, the new mounted moco system. Um, we'll have a four point linkage machine. It's a race car type suspension on a mounted mower, the 33 series. Is, again, is another new concept, um, parallelogram type system for flotation. We had 10 machines out last year. People are saying it's the best mower to follow ground in a mounted machine that they've seen. So quite a few up, or one or two in your part of the country. As well, there would yeah. be, there would be. Yeah. Northern Ireland has always been strong in the Caverna Moor. I mean, even, so. even ourselves, every time we go out and do a bit of mowing with one of our old tractors, we're always hitting on the old Caverna. But we maybe need to do a comparison there sometime, the old Caverna yeah. versus the new one, see what the difference is. We're chatting about Kubota and the name and so on. It used to be that everybody bought a tarp mower. Then the name changed to Caverna Tarp, and people are a bit cautious of it. Now the tarp name is as good as gone and people have finally accepted it. So this is another factor. And the name in Branton has got a big thing. So to get away from the Cavernant name now completely would be madness. That would be a big thing. Yeah.